Hi, this is lecture two on voice leading basics. Today I'm going to just talk about how we notate chorale style music on two staves and just show you a little bit of that and talk about the ranges of the voices. You're probably familiar with the idea of choral music having four voices which are soprano, alto, tenor, bass. We're going to write these on two staffs, which you can see here. You're probably familiar with the grand staff. If you put a curly bracket on it, it's for piano, but with just a regular straight bracket like this, we're going to use it to write our choral music. So we're going to put two voices on each staff. So the soprano and the alto will be on the treble staff, and the bass and the tenor, sorry, tenor and bass reading downwards, will be on the bass staff. If you're a tenor, you may be thinking, well, I don't read the bass clef. When I look at my part, it's in treble clef. And that's true. It's actually in treble clef with a little eight underneath it to tell you to sing an octave below where the notes are written. For our purposes, we're going to write your part in the bass clef with the uh, bass part, just to keep everybody uh, clear. And the uh, soprano part, which is going to go from about middle C up to somewhere at the top of the staff, and the alto part, which will go from the G below middle C up to the C above it, they'll be written in the treble staff. And the tenor part, which will be from C to G, just like the soprano, but an octave lower, and the bass part, which will be from about there to around there, so sort of similar to the alto part, but an octave lower, they'll be on the bass staff. How do we tell them apart? Well, let's say that we wanted to write this note, which could be for soprano or it could be for alto, that's C above middle C we're going to use the stem direction. So if we put the stem up, that's going to be a soprano note. Soprano will always have its stem up as long as the alto is also present, and maybe the alto would have that note. And you can see that its stem is down to show that it's the alto. Let's say I had this same note for alto, then I would use the stem down to show that that's, what, that's who's singing it, and maybe the sopranos would have an E, say. So you'll always be able to tell that way. Normally we write the stem depending, you know, lower notes get stems up and higher notes get stems down, but for our purposes all soprano notes will have the stems pointing up, all alto notes will have the stems pointing down. Same thing with the tenor and the bass. Let's say we had tenors there on G, and let's say we had the basses there on E, and then let's say the next at the next point we had basses on G, and we had uh, tenors on C, like that. These are not really uh, chords I'm trying to write. They're notes of the C major chord, but they're not spaced very well. I'm just showing you how to write these different notes. What if the tenor and the bass had the same note? You would put two stems on it. One thing you might want to uh, note, and this is one of those things that if you play the piano, you probably know this already, but if you don't, you might not have noticed this. On the treble staff, this is middle C. On the bass staff, this is middle C. So there's a kind of overlap there. So when you are trying to figure out where your notes are, let's say your tenor part has that E, two ledger lines above the bass staff. That's the same as that E on the treble staff. So you can, when you're looking at your parts up here, the soprano and the alto, you can see how your tenor relates to it by just remembering where it is on the treble staff. But in order to keep things clear, we're going to use um, the bass staff for the tenor and the treble staff for the alto and soprano, and of course, the bass staff for the bass. 
it's just a convenience so that we always know who's singing what. All right, that is our uh, basic notational uh, lecture, and we'll talk a, a little bit more in the next one about how to actually take these chords and write them for these four parts, and then we'll actually start moving those voices. See you in class.